So Arnold Husky, um, why did you write a letter to Ken Jeske? Um, about a month, a month and a half ago, we were uh, invited to write, um, everyone in OCE was invited to write a letter uh, on their personal thoughts and feelings about working for OCE and what it meant to them. Um, I thought it was, given what's going on in our society and culture today, I thought it was important to give some perspective to what OCE means to a prisoner. I'm a lifer. Uh, I've been in a long time and um, I've had the opportunity to uh, witness uh, the benefits to different men that have come in and gone out since I've been doing time and the benefits it brings to me, myself, uh, in my environment. Um, and so uh, I took time to sit down and write a letter um, to OCE, to give to OCE, to whoever would like to read it, um, about my perspective of having done time and systems both with and without um, an industries program. I, found, I have found that uh, Industries in Oregon is um, beneficial on a whole, uh, a very wide level of reasons. I mean, it's uh, OCE in Oregon provides an opportunity to do work and training that will benefit men when they are released. But it also provides a way to do meaningful work within the system. If I were not working for OCE today, it's very likely that I would have a menial job in the kitchen or on a floor crew, or um, possibly, if I were lucky enough, uh, to be in an apprenticeship program in one of the physical plant job fields. But those are very limited, very small in number. And OCE provides an opportunity for me to get up every day, come to work, and do something that's meaningful and beneficial, not only to myself and the organization, but I would hope to other men here as well. Um, I think it's beneficial to inmates in Oregon because being an older incarcerated individual, I see a lot of young people coming in today that do not have the work ethic that uh, an older generation used to have. And so one of the fundamental things that OCE does is it teaches men a work ethic that will stay with them the rest of their life. And I think that's beneficial to them and crucial for them in their success and the reintegration in society. Um, and so if it did nothing more than that, that would be a huge benefit to the taxpayer, that alone. But we, we would also hope, and I, I believe that it does, also teaches more than that. It teaches um, men that have to be responsible in their conduct. Uh, more in their behavior, uh, more so than the general population prisoner because uh, you could lose this job uh, if your behavior um, violates rules, is not appropriate for the institution, uh, you can lose the job. And so it's requi it requires a different level from you than it does just doing time, just being a, a prisoner. Um, that's beneficial. It teaches men um, how to behave, how to act in the workplace, how to conduct themselves. And it teaches teamwork. Um, OCE, there are few individuals that work in OCE. Most of OCE operates on a teamwork basis. And uh, we are in a print shop here. In the print shop, uh, it's crucial to have teamwork to make it the production flow. If you didn't have teamwork, it, you couldn't, it would not work. And so it teaches men, many who have not engaged in much constructive teamwork in their life, to learn how to work together as a team and to interact together as men and uh, women in this society, in this, I mean, in this environment, so that when they go back out into society, they would have that benefit as well. Um, on another level, it provides me with an income here that is much greater than what the average that is available to the average organ inmate. That's beneficial to me. It causes, that allows me not to ask my family for money. Um, I can, look, I do have an issue with pay, as I think most prisoners in OC and in the general population do. 
to my best recollection, Oregon has not raised inmate pay since about 1995. And the cost of living, even for us incarcerated individuals, has went up greatly. And um, so our pay is lower than I think that it should be. And I would hope that OCE could lead the fight to change that. I am aware that OCE is not, doesn't have the ability to say, let's change the pay. It's much more complicated than that. And it actually reaches all the way back to the, the voters in the state of Oregon and the legislature. And many more people are involved in just saying, hey, let's raise pay today. I get that, but I would hope as the, the Department of Corrections and OCE work toward um, the future, that that's something that they would consider doing is, is raising our pay. Um, I would also like to, uh, you know, I, an important part of my letter is also talking um, about the job opportunities. It's, a lot of men would like to see more job opportunities in fields that are more relevant today in society, perhaps, than a laundry job, or perhaps even a print shop job. Uh, they would like to do things like uh, computer coding, uh, web design. Um, they would like to be able to get out of here and have some job training in areas as carpentry and and um, and also uh, just to say electronics assembly, things like that. But I also recognize that OCE has been greatly constrained over the years not to be seen as a competitor to businesses in the society and community in which we live. And I think that one of the areas that is very important for OCE to work on will be a partnership with the business leaders in the community and the legislature uh, so that we become not a competitor but are looked on as someone that is beneficial and helpful. Uh, it's a partnership. Uh, I know that um, that's something that Mr. Jeske, I believe, is working on. He has spoken to me about that. And um, I think that it's important as OCE goes forward to be able to do things like that. Uh, I don't think the whole matter with, uh, you know, I, I watch TV, I see what's on the news as well as everybody else and reads the paper. And, and I understand that OCE uh, has been called slave labor. And it's not, and it's, I, I would think that uh, people who understand slavery in general uh, would be pretty offended by the fact that this is a voluntary job. I'm not in any bondage to work here. I could go work anywhere I want. I choose to work in OCE uh, because it's something that I want to do. And no one requires anyone to work in OCE. Um, I can take a job tomorrow for much less pay. Uh, but OCE, to me, uh, it's a privilege to work in OCE. And I think that um, I, you know, it needs to be expanded to affect more inmates. I, I, that's another issue that I have. I would like to see OCE expanded to address 50 or 60 or 75 percent of the population, ideally. Uh, but again, the constraints under which it operates uh, make it difficult to do that. But I hope that our legislature and our leadership will be able, especially in this time, uh, with all the cultural change and, and things going on, that we would be able to address some of these issues in the future. Um, well, uh, there's much more in my letter. I'd be happy to speak about more if you'd like to hear. Thanks, sir. Thank you. You're welcome.